Well, this is the suspect in the Gilgo Beach murder case. This afternoon, Rex Hewerman pled not guilty Rex, to the murders do? of three women. Thanks for joining us here on Newsday TV. I'm Macy Eglund. Hewerman is now being held without bail. According to court papers, he's been charged with three counts of first and second degree murder for the deaths of Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. They are just three of the 10 victims found in the sand along Gilgo Beach. He is also considered a suspect in the death of a fourth woman. Suffolk District Attorney Ray Tierney and Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison spoke about the work that went into arresting Hewerman and keeping the progress in the investigation a secret. This really um, um, supported our decision to keep our investigative um, focus secret because we knew that this one person would be watching and we didn't want to give him uh, any insight into what we were doing and we also didn't want him to know just how close we were getting. Uh, so we maintain the, the, the grand jury secrecy and we maintain the integrity of our investigation. Police have been swarming over Hewerman's home in Massapequa Park. The street was shut down while the investigation continued. People who live in the Massapequa Park neighborhood near Hewerman's home certainly surprised by all the police showing up. Drew Scott brings us that part of the story. Shocking. They can't be anything else but shocking. That's the reaction of neighbors of Gilgo Beach murder suspect named by sources as Rex Hewerman. Before dawn, dozens of state and local police barricaded the neighborhood streets and began searching through the aging red-colored home on First Avenue in Massapequa Park. I know I've walked past that house many, many times with my daughter, bike rides and walks. So I'm really upset with the, all this news. Neighbors say the suspect grew up in what they describe as a poorly cared for older house and walked alone every day to the railroad and worked in the city at an architectural firm where police say he was arrested last night by the Gilgo Beach Homicide Task Force. Uh, I do have to take advantage of this opportunity and thank uh, the teamwork, the effort, the work by all the members of the task force uh, allowing us to get to this point today. State Nassau and Suffolk police plan to have command posts here throughout the night as they thoroughly search the house and backyard. Other neighbors say the suspect stayed to himself and told a few people he was planning to move to the Carolinas soon. It's, it's a shock that it happened in this neighborhood, really because it's, but it just shows you. You could be your next door neighbor and you don't know. In Massapequa Park, Drew Scott for Newsday TV. Governor Hochul spoke today about the arrest and the families who've been suffering for years because of this case. I know there's a community out there that, as the facts unfold, will be sleeping a lot easier tonight. And a lot of families whose lives have been just turned upside down, always wondering, questioning what happened and will the perpetrator ever be brought to justice. It's taken authorities more than a decade to put this case together. Here's a look at how the murders were uncovered and the timeline on how it progressed. Uh, we found uh, a body at Gilgo Beach. December 2010, human remains are discovered along Ocean Parkway, the first of what would become 10 victims. We have no idea whatsoever where, <laughs> that we're dealing with a serial killer. Right now, we have more questions than answers. The remains of eight women, one man and a child, the Gilgo Beach homicide victims. Their discovery began with the search for Shannon Gilbert in May of 2010, a young woman from New Jersey, who authorities say was a sex worker. It was her 911 call that set off a search in Oak Beach. There's somebody after me. Where are you, ma'am? I don't know. For months, the search continued until December, when a Suffolk police officer and cadaver dog conducting a routine search uncovered a set of remains. Three more bodies were found the next day, north of Ocean Parkway, concealed by camo burlap among thick vegetation. We were quite surprised the second day when we found the second body. And we started going eastbound, and we found the, second uh, the third body, and then uh, ultimately the fourth body. Over the years, more victims have been discovered. Sets of human remains along Ocean Parkway, and other partial remains in places like Manorville, Jones Beach, and the body of a young child 
found near the remains of a man dressed in women's clothing near Cedar Beach in April of 2011. Forensic anthropologists estimate that the full skeletal remains appear to, to be that of a toddler. The Gilgo Beach homicide victim slowly identified as police searched for clues as to how they died. Many of the victims were identified as sex workers. Our investigation indicates that each of the victims had been posting ads on computer websites for various escort and other services prior to their disappearance and death. In 2020, police reached out to the public, revealing a piece of evidence in the case, a black leather belt reading either WH or HM, hoping that, along with an increased reward for information, might finally give them a solid lead. In 2022, Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison created a task force between the agencies in hopes of finally solving the case. I, I truly believe um, that we're going to get down to the bottom of who committed these crimes. And now an arrest. Rex Hewerman of Massapequa Park and a trial that may lead to more answers in a case that has gripped Long Island for more than a decade. And be sure to stay with Newsday for our continuing coverage on the Gilgo murders case. You can get the very latest information on Newsday TV, on Newsday.com, and on our mobile app. Thanks for watching.